In this video, a summary of the start of Act 1, including how does J.B. Priestley use Mr. Burling to introduce his own political beliefs in the play. If you find this video content useful, then like, subscribe and ring the bell to receive further notifications for future video releases. But let me start then with Act 1. At the start of the Act, the Burlings and Gerald Croft are introduced. They're toasting the engagement of Sheila Burling and Gerald. Mr Burling seems particularly pleased with himself. All appears well enough, but Priestley is already dropping clues that there are problems bubbling under the surface, with mentions of Gerald being preoccupied last summer and Eric being described as squiffy. Burling makes a speech that salutes his son-in-law-to-be, focusing more on what Gerald will bring to his business than the happiness that he'll bring to his daughter. However, Sheila is very glad to receive the engagement ring from Gerald. And then before the women exit to the drawing room, Burling makes a second speech. Dismissing talk of strikes and war, he predicts that a time of increasing wealth for business owners lies ahead, giving the Titanic as an example of human progress in a moment of dramatic irony in the play. Left alone with Gerald, Mr Burling tells him of his concern that Lady Croft feels her son might be marrying below his social status and he reassures Gerald by mentioning that he's in with a chance of a knighthood. Eric returns and Burling lectures both him and Gerald on his capitalist beliefs, the importance of hard work, making your own way and looking out for yourself. He compares this to the values of people he describes as cranks, basically meaning socialists, who believe that everyone in society should aim to support everyone else. Through this sequence, Priestley draws the audience's attention to the theme of social responsibility and therefore his own political values directly before the doorbell rings and the inspector arrives. Mr Burling has been set up for a fall by the playwright with his self-importance and arrogance. The inspector having arrived, informs Burling, Eric and Gerald that two hours ago a young woman died in the hospital after swallowing disinfectant. Eric's shocked, but Burling wants to know what that has to do with them. The inspector tells of a letter and a diary found at the girl's lodgings and when he mentions her original name, Eva Smith, Mr. Burling's memory is triggered, although he requires a reminder that she worked at his factory. The inspector shows him a photograph of the girl, but shields it from Gerald and Eric, and he explains this by saying that he follows one line of inquiry at a time. Burling recalls that he fired Eva Smith in the autumn of 1910, nearly two years ago. Given the time lapse, he can't see how it had anything to do with her suicide, but the inspector explains it as a chain of events. Burling remembers that Eva was a good worker and that she was being lined up for a promotion until there was a dispute over pay. Eva had been one of the leaders of a group that had requested 
higher salaries, but Burling refused, stating that he had to keep the cost down and that they were free to find work elsewhere if they didn't like it. Eva and her fellow workers went on strike, but this didn't last long and most of the staff returned at the old rates except for the group leaders, Eva among them, who were told to leave. Gerald approves of Burling's actions. Eric thinks they were harsh. Burling indicates that for someone in his position, it's important not to show any signs of weakness or people take advantage. The inspector comments on Mr. Burling's behavior, but when Burling snaps back at him, he's unable to intimidate the inspector. When Eric defends the workers' rights, Burling attacks him for being naive. You might be interested in the follow-up video to this one in which I conclude Act 1 and compare Mr Burling's testimony with Sheila's testimony. If you want this information in written form then check out our revision guide on the Twinkle website. You can also find a whole load more revision videos on our YouTube channel. Please check those out. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.